Inflation is higher today than it was 11 months ago when President Biden said it had peaked. Families are paying 400 more per month than they did a year ago. Why? Because you put them before your politics, as you say. They just didn't know that they really wanted to pay more. Last month, our deficit was nearly $250 billion. Another record you own, a record for the highest for the month of November. It was fueled by 55% increase in our interest payments. Why? Because you own the majority, the House, the Senate, and the presidency. That's what you brought the American public. Meanwhile, personal credit card debt exploded by almost $400 billion in the third quarter. That's another record you own for the third quarter. Inflation is the economy's number one problem. The Federal Reserve continues to raise the rate. Why? Because you took the majority. It's raising rates, and you still don't get it. But Democrats want this bill to put more pressure on the working family. Because you know better than the working family, apparently. Americans have had enough. That's why, again, millions voted to fire the Democrats on this one-party rule. Good morning, friends. Happy Thursday to all of you. Friends, I have good news to inform you about this morning. Several states have announced that they have a huge budget surplus, with inflation remaining very high. State governors are deciding to approve new relief plans to help their residents with the rising cost of living, and some lawmakers have even proposed checks that are worth as much as $1,000. My friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to find out if your city or state is planning to send out new relief payments. Also, I will be giving away a Walmart gift card every day until the end of this month. If you would like to enter the daily giveaways, all you have to do, friends, is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances of winning these daily giveaways. So friends, state governments emerging from this crisis have received historic cash surpluses as inflation in prices and wages drove up sales and income tax collections. There are now several states in the country they have millions of dollars in budget surpluses. States ranging from Democratic-led Massachusetts to Republican-led Texas are sitting on large surpluses that are swelling even further. And that's thanks to favorable interest rates on investments. As legislatures prepare for their 2023 sessions, governors and lawmakers are proposing to tap into their surpluses to cover tax cuts and greater spending on priorities such as infrastructure and education. Though most states can afford it, financial experts are nonetheless urging caution because of concerns that the United States could slip into a recession. After projecting an unprecedented $97 billion surplus just seven months ago, officials in the state of California are now forecasting a roughly $25 billion deficit in the next budget. State budgeters have gone through uncertain times since the crisis began in early 2020. But state tax revenues surged well beyond those expectations. After back-to-back -back years of double-digit percentage growth in revenues, states ended their 2022 fiscal years with a record cash balance of nearly $343 billion. Large surpluses put states in a position to benefit as a Federal Reserve raise its benchmark interest rates seven times this year, making many loans more expensive in an attempt to slow spending and fight inflation. Texas had projected a $27 billion surplus for its current budget, boosted by strong sales taxes and energy revenues. That's a larger surplus than the annual general fund expenditures of 40 other states. Republican Governor Greg Abbott promised during his re-election campaign that half the surplus would go towards property tax relief. But Texas is not the only state that has approved financial relief for the residents. In the state of Maine, Governor Janet Mills has proposed the Emergency Winter Energy Relief Plan 
to help low-income and middle-class families in the state of Maine through the upcoming winter season amid near-record high energy prices. This relief plan included several opportunities for assistance, such as the winter energy relief payment of $450 per eligible adult that is based on the 2021 tax returns. To qualify, your income must be less than $100,000 a year if you filed single, $150,000 a year for heads of household, or $200,000 for couples that had filed jointly. Governor Mills also proposed the Home Energy Assistance Program Supplement, which would include $40 million that will go towards fulfilling assistance to recipients. The plan also stated that $10 million will go to Maine Community Action Partnerships for delivery of emergency fuel and $21 million will go towards the Emergency Housing Relief Fund, which helps support emergency housing. The state of Wisconsin is in its strongest fiscal position in state history. That's according to the State Department of Administration, with Tony Evers as governor. Governor Evers has said that he would like to implement a 10% middle-class tax cut. Republicans have pitched the idea of a flat income tax cut. During an interview, Governor Evers stated, My plan impacts more people and the people who really need the help. We have national inflation that has been impacting our state and country for several months now, and we can afford a middle-class tax cut. So friends, please let me know if you live in one of these states and received any of these rebate checks or stimulus checks. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Throughout this entire year, many states have been sending out relief payments to their residents. Alaska residents received a $662 energy relief payment added on top of the annual permanent fund dividend that all Alaskans received. Earlier this year, the state of Delaware started giving out $300 inflation relief checks to taxpayers in the state. The payments were part of the 2022 Delaware Relief Rebate Program. The Sunshine State of Florida also sent $450 per child to foster parents as part of the Hope Florida Program. The payments were made to help 59,000 foster families deal with rising prices. Also, in the state of Hawaii, the governor used his State of the State address to bring up the idea of sending out direct payments to taxpayers in the form of tax refunds. Eventually, legislation was approved and residents of Hawaii received direct inflation relief payments of $100 or $300, depending on their income. Friends, please comment below if you received any type of relief from your city or state. My amazing and dearest friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this morning. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me here every day and watching the new videos that I post. Say thank you for being part of this community. I'm giving away a new Walmart gift card every day this month. If you would like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do, friends, is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances of winning these daily giveaways. The winner of yesterday's Walmart gift card giveaway is Judy Hinton. Congratulations, my friend. To claim your gift card, please check your notifications page and send me a message. Or you could message me on my Facebook page. Thank you, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Thursday.